What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm currently driving home from work right now and I thought what better time to record a video of something I've been thinking about. So the other day I was talking to some people about how many cars I've had and I realized I probably had more cars in my lifetime than your average person. So I figured I'd make a video kind of going over each one. Now I don't remember the exact years of the cars, but I do remember the models. It did take me some time to get the list together because I kept forgetting certain ones, but I got it all together and so I figured I'd make a video of it. Now, my first car was a Chevy Camaro. Uh, this car was gifted to me for my sister when I was 15. Unfortunately, I never really got to drive it much after I got my license, but it held a special place as being the first car. I believe it was an 86 Camaro and it was pretty nice. I loved it for being 15 years old. My second car was a Datsun 280ZX Turbo. This was probably my favorite car. I bought it for a thousand dollars and it was just a blast to drive. It was great on windy roads. It was a T-top so it had a great sporty feel to it. Then I got a Chevy Cavalier. This was an older, this was an older convertible I picked up for around 300 bucks. It wasn't much, but I enjoyed the convertible top, and I believe I had it for close to a year. Then I bought a Mitsubishi Eclipse for $1,000. It was a five-speed. It was an older Eclipse, but it was still very nice and very fun to drive. Then I got an Econo van. Now, I didn't keep the Econo van for long at the time, because I believe I was around 17, and it was just huge, and it used a lot of gas. And uh, I wish I would have kept it. it was, oh, I wish I had a van like that now because it would be great for camping and festivals. It had a bed in it, a TV, a bunch of fans, uh, lots of space. And uh, it would be cool to still have. Then I got a bright yellow Geostorm 5-speed. I believe they only made these from like 92 through 94. So I have never, I've never seen another one on the road. I got it for like 2500 bucks. The back end ended up going out on it though. So then I got a Buick LeSabre for around a thousand dollars. It was a smooth and comfortable ride. Not really much to talk about. Then I got a Chevy Blazer. Now I had this rugged beast for years and I put it through the ringer. I took it every, everywhere. Off road in, mud pits, anything you could think of, I took this Blazer. And I had it at the same time I had a five speed Honda Civic. Now the Honda Civic was just a two-door golden color hatchback, nothing special. I had a loud exhaust on it though, and I just kind of used this to deliver pizzas in because it was great on gas. And then I had got another Buick LeSabre around the same time I had the Honda Civic, and I believe I purchased that for a thousand dollars. Again, nothing fancy, but it was very dependable. And they ended up trading the Honda Civic in for a Ford Focus. This was the first car I really financed from an actual dealership. And they ended up totaling it after I hit a Coyote going like 100 miles an hour being stupid. Then I bought a Pontiac Grand M. I bought this car for 300 bucks with the intention of fixing it up, but never really got around to doing it. Then I just scrapped it for like 300 bucks. Then I got a Chrysler Concorde for around $3,000. I got it for my boss at the time, and it only had like 60,000 miles on it, and it was fancy. I can't believe, I don't really remember why I got rid of that car. But then I got a Volkswagen that I got for around 500 bucks. Nothing fancy, but it lasted me for years. It was honestly great and reliable vehicles, just kind of expensive to fix. Then I got a Dodge Ram. I bought this truck for around $1,500. And I loved it, honestly. I was living in Virginia at the time. I drove it around when I was in college. But unfortunately, the transmission ended up going out in it. So I traded it for a 73 Mustang. Now this 73 Mustang, the engine on it was nice. Needed a lot of body work. Everything was pretty rusted it out. And I had that the same time that I had this American Jeep Cherokee. I got the American Jeep. It was an 85. I got it for around 500 bucks just used it as a toy and project car, then sold it for 500 bucks. It wasn't even running it when I sold it. And uh, 
So yeah, I had it simultaneously with the Mustang and I ended up trading the Mustang in for a 1967 Opel Cadet. This was a five-speed small motor. It wasn't a very fast car, but a very unique car. This was another car I've never seen another one of and I kind of wish I would have kept it. Then I got a Ford Taurus that I got for 500 bucks from an ex-girlfriend of mine. The front end of this car was pretty smashed up where she had wrecked it a few times, but it was still ran and $500 was a good deal for it. I drove it for years. I actually had a milk jug for a headlight because one of the headlights was all busted and I couldn't get a new one to stay in. Then I got a Ford Explorer. It's nothing special. It was a fun car to drive. I got it for my sister and then sold it back to my sister after a year. Then I got a Chevy Cobalt. I financed this car, so I don't really remember how much I paid for it. And then when it was almost paid it off, I traded it in for a Nissan Rogue. This, I love this car. And for some reason, I traded it in on the rim for a GMC Terrain. Well, this car was nice, and I regret trading it in. I wish I would have just paid it off, because I'd still have it now. And the GMC Terrain, like I said, I traded in the Nissan Rogue for it and then financed it. And it was extremely nice. And, uh, but unfortunately, the motor blew on it and the warranty wouldn't cover it, so I just had to let it go. Then I got a Honda Elantra after that for around 5000 And when I had the Elantra, I got another Jeep Grand Cherokee that I just fixed up because I wanted to fix it up and give it to my nephew. So that's what I did. I believe he traded it for some Lexus. I don't really know. But I always promised him a car when he turned 18. So I delivered. I liked the Jeep. It wasn't really his thing. He wanted something he could drift. And then that brings us to my final car, which is a Subaru Crosstrek. Now, I love this car. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite cars. I've done a lot of work to it. Uh, there's a couple of videos you can go watch on my channel talking about everything. And you can see some of the things I've done to it and how I did it. So in my lifetime, I've had, I believe that's between 26 to 28 cars, each with unique characteristics and memories, and they've contributed to my journey on the road. You know, I don't regret any of the cars, really. I regret getting rid of some of the cars. And uh, yeah, so each car served different needs throughout the different phases of my life, and I've loved every single one of them. So that basically covers all the cars I've had. If you have any questions about the cars, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.